Hi, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp partner. Viola asked in one of my YouTube videos or in the comment section of one of my YouTube videos how she can send a regular email campaign from MailChimp to everyone but only people that have completed her customer journey or automation. So I'll, I'll show how to do this. I'll just go across to MailChimp itself. Now, the first thing to say is there are actually various ways of accomplishing this. Um, I'm going to use the method of uh, tags. I'll demonstrate it. So the first thing I'm going to do, and it'll all make sense by the end of this video. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a tag in my audience. So in my audience that I'm going to use for both my customer journey and my regular campaign, I'm going to click view contacts and I'm going to create a tag and we can call that tag anything we want to. So I'm going to click here, manage contacts, tags, just to add that tag. And again, you can call it anything, but I'll click create tag and I'll just call this completed. For example, doesn't matter. Uh, your end, uh, your contacts don't see the tags. I'll click create. Just to show you, once it uh, finishes loading, just to show you that it's there, there's now a tag called completed. Okay, so I've got the tag. What I'm going to do now is I'll create the customer journey and I'll, I'll use the example of a welcome series. So I'll create a welcome customer journey. And what I'll do as part of that is as soon as someone is finished that journey, they've been sent the welcome email, I'll tag them with completed. Then what we'll do is I'll show how we can segment or uh, yeah, well, I guess, yeah, segment, create our regular email that sends to only people that have the tag of completed. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, create our customer journey, our welcome customer journey. To do that in MailChimp, I click create customer journey. And you, you can explore which ones are here, but I'll click create and customer journey again. I can call this anything I want to. I'll just call it demo two for now. Just make sure that you're using that same audience that you added the tag to and you'll use for your regular campaign. I then click start building, choose a starting point. And my starting point is when a person signs up. Uh, so when a person signs up, maybe I want to delay for a week and then uh, send them a certain uh, email. So I'll click signs up. Click save starting point. Okay, so just looking at the screen, um, when people sign up to my audience, I said I want to delay for a certain amount of time. So I'll click the plus button where I want to add the delay and click delay. And I could click on this and I could change it to one hour, one day, 10 hours, whatever you want to. Okay, well, let's just change it for now to one, uh, sorry, one day, one day. <laughs> Okay, delay for one day. So it says once people sign up, delay for one day, and then I want to send them an email, for example. So I can, and there are various ways to add this. I can click on send email, click where I want it to be sent. So people sign up, wait for one day, and then send them this email. Now let me design that email. So I click gets email. Um, you wouldn't, you know, you, you, you could just go through and change your subject and so on. I could use a template to create this, uh, this email that's going to go out. I could use a previous campaign, but I'll show using the creative assistant. It's, it's really awesome. This creative system, creative assistant, sorry, in MailChimp, it will build the email for us and we can then amend it should we so wish. So I'm going to click creative assistant just to show you what it does. And it's busy building my email in the background. Okay, and as you can see, it's created a graphic for me. Um, in order for the graphics to be built, you're going to need to have a website connected to MailChimp. We'll use the, the, the MailChimp website builder or landing page builder, which are both very, very good. If this doesn't make sense to you what the wording here is, hi, you know, if, if name, if name, end if, what it's saying there is, um, hi, add the word hi, comma, then, if there's an entry in the first name field in MailChimp, add the first name. However, if there's not a first name in that field, don't add the first name in. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to just pretend that this is all okay for my email, but you can adjust it. You would then preview and test, but I'll click save and return to workflow. 
Right. So when people sign up to that audience, um, wait a day and then send them that email. Now, crucially, because we want to uh, send to people that have finished or have gone through this workflow, in other words, got the emails and so on from it, in this case, one email, I want to tag people. So after gets email, I'll just click the plus, click add or remove a tag. And let's add that completed tag we added to our audience earlier. So I'm just going to click on add or remove a tag down here. And do you want to add or remove a tag? I want to add a tag. The tag I want to add, and we'll add the one called completed. So what that means is once people are sent that email, they'll be tagged that. So we know people have completed this journey because they'll be tagged as completed once they've completed the journey. Okay, so let's turn on my uh, customer journey, my automation, so uh, that it starts running. Turn on. Okay, and now it's, it's running in the background. So I'll just click the little cross the exit button icon and we can see it's active there. Right, so when people now sign up for my audience, they will, after a day, they'll be sent an email and literally a second or so after they send that email, they'll be tagged as completed. So now, um, getting back to Viola's question, how does she send a regular campaign, a normal email campaign and MailChimp to all people that have completed the journey? but not to people that are, have not completed the journey. Okay, well that's easy because we've got that tag. So let's go to create, email, regular campaign, and again, I can call it anything I want to. Click begin. Wait for this to load up. Right, and this is where we add the segment. So I click add recipients, choose the audience, and it must be the same audience uh, that I used for my uh, customer journey. So Gary's demo. I don't want to send to all subscribers in audience. What I want to do is send to a group or new segment. I could do it that way, or I can just come straight down and click completed. But just, just um, be aware, however, that you get more options when you go through the segment options. But again, I could just click completed. But let me show you by clicking group or new segment. So I want to send to only people where, not date added, where the tag, so let me just scroll down, where the tags, contact is tagged and completed and I'll click update recipient count. Okay, I don't, I don't have anyone there. And I'll click save. So what happens now is that um, people sign up for my audience. A day later, they sent an email at the same, well, roughly the same time, they tagged as completed. Then, when Viola wants to come and send an email uh, to people that have, that have completed that customer journey, she needs to now just uh, create the condition where uh, or the segment where the tag is con uh, the contact is tag completed and that's how simple it is and and I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au please subscribe to my channel like this video and thanks for joining me